It's that time of year again, and we've got so many turtles and tortoises hatching here at Garden State Tortoise, but this time I needed the help of friends, so I have Kenan Harkin and Maurice Rodriguez here to help me with it. We're gonna sort babies, and you guys are coming with us. We're gonna start with the baby North American wood turtles, and what's going on here is a lot of them have started hatching, but there's plenty that haven't hatched yet. So the objective is let's get them out, let's get them into water, cleaned up, make sure everybody's okay, and make sure that they don't interrupt the other eggs that are not yet ready to hatch, which they've already kind of started doing. Well, so. is it like other types of turtles sometimes that they can actually stimulate the hatching when the little babies are kind of scrambling around in there? I, th I think they can, and but luckily, when they disturb the other ones that are ready to hatch, it's kind of like their alarm call, like Let, okay. let's get going. But I think if they were to stay in here too long, then we're gonna run into an issue with some of them starting to pip and then maybe even just dying. Oh, okay, you know? cool, let's do it then. So, I got your little tub here. Okay. Uh, that is so awesome to see this many yeah. baby North American woods, man. Now in the wild, these guys would only lay maybe two to five uh, eggs or do they lay more? Up to 15. Do they really? Uh, I thought it was uh, like box turtles. Thanks, Maurice, I had no idea. That's so cool. Yeah, some of them lay, you know, I think, uh, I actually think the first clutch this year from one of the females was like 14 eggs. Look yeah, at this, this one's wild. drinking, drinking check it out. Yeah. Check this out, they're drinking. First thing they do when they get out there, man, they're looking for water. They'll just soak it on up, that's amazing. Yeah, and this is, you know, it's a semi-aquatic species, so it's crucial that we get them into water. Something like this that's similar to a box turtle but still has its differences is gonna either look for shallow water or they're gonna go into leaf litter, you know, because they wanna stay hidden and they gotta hydrate as quickly as possible. That is really cool. And they all still have their little caruncle, which is their little egg tooth yeah. that they use to get out of the egg. Yes. I mean, this is quite the score here, bud. We should probably count them, right? Oh, I'll do that. You guys <laughs> you go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirteen so far. Okay. All right, there's 14 and 15. 16. Nice. 17. 18. 18. Do I hear 20? Do I got a 20? <laughs> Ooh, we got 20, but look. Look at the size this of the This one building. is not ready. Uh, okay, so what we'll, we'll, will you set that up in its yeah. own thing or just leave it in the incubator here? So we'll put this one back in here for now, but what I'll do is I'll get a small deli cup and put it on, you know, like wet paper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something yeah. it can so take this will be 20. There's 20, okay, cool. 21. That's amazing. Oh, there's another one. Nope, there okay. You go. And that's, the, that's part of the process, folks, is that why he's doing this is so that he can tell which ones are ready for the nursery, which ones need to hang for a little bit longer. 100%. Um, was this 22? Sure. <laughs> I'm great at math. <laughs> what about this guy? Oh, we got we got 30. Yeah, no way. 30. 30 ready to go in North America Woods. So what kind of, um, I mean, are you just gonna keep them in this type of uh, setup? Yeah, so they'll, you know, they'll stay in a controlled environment like that um, for, you know, maybe like two, three weeks, you okay. know, before they start getting moved into things where they have more options, you know? Cool. Um, because right now we just want to really keep as close of an eye as we can on them. And I, I love this. They're like, you know, some of them are drinking. Yeah, it's so cool. And what's cool too is they're, you know, some of them are like a darker gray, some of them are more brown, you know? There's not too much variation with wood turtles, but... No two really are the same. Yeah, as they get older, that's when the colors really start to come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. They don't have those orange, or if they're from the western portion of the rain, yellow legs yet, you know? Crazy. Oh man, I know those. <laughs> yeah. Box turtles. Box turtles are such a big part of what we do here. You guys that watch our channel know that, um, but these particular ones are very special. Um, if you've been following, you know that we've been hatching Mexican box turtles from the group that came from the Turtle Survival Alliance. And, um, well, they keep coming. We had three, we've got another three. And these two Florida box turtles are from a very special turtle that I actually got from Maurice that was originally owned by famous turtle biologist Peter Pritchard. So it's a very special animal to us. But despite the fact that she's so old, she's still extremely prolific. That's amazing. Amazing. And there's, you know, there's no guessing who's who here. You know, we've got, you know, the Mexicans and, and the uh, Floridas really look nothing alike, but they're all part of the genus Terrapin. Uh, so those are just some classic examples, but I do want to make sure that they're in good shape. And they do look to be. They're beautiful. They're so gorgeous, right? And they are so small, the Floridas, when they come out, but then you yeah. notice the difference. Yeah, let's show uh, You said these guys actually just 
blew up as far as size in just the last 24 hours, 48 hours. Yeah, I mean, they essentially came out of the egg like that. And Crazy. these Floridas are a week old already. Amazing. So these hatched right before I left and these hatched as soon as I came back. So you were gone, what, four days, three days? Yeah, so, well, you yeah, like five, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's amazing. Oh, you smell that too? That's the musk. That's the musk. That's Box the, turtles musk. Don't eat me. That, they're <laughs> trying to smell bad, but yeah. uh, crazy. Wow, that's a really incredible musk. Yeah. Sniffing turtles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> people, some people will think that it's quite a buzz. <laughs> yeah. That's that's amazing. Okay, yeah. we're gonna right. put these guys. Which one do we want them in? Uh, let's give the Mexicans that one. Let's this one. A little bit more water in there. All right, cool, man. There we go. Little guys, good job. And what we should point out too is, not to sound like a broken record, but box turtles need water. They have a deep relationship with it. And that's why we start raising them in it from day one so that they don't get dehydrated. They start growing properly with those smooth, highly arced shells. And we don't run into issues too early because when they're so young, they're so vulnerable. This is where you can school me because um, man, the subspecies of these, uh, you are truly focused in on them. Yeah, I have a sickness. Okay. <laughs> I think we all have a bit of a sickness. <laughs> but uh, This is uh, my hyper focus. Okay. So we'll start off simple because I know you keep these. I think, well, I think you keep I, I do not. I have no more tests to do though. Not really? No, man. Okay. Um, you know, I, it's just, it wasn't working for me. Um, the humidity can sometimes be a problem down where I'm at. So I choose to do things that I know are going to be kind of bulletproof. It just makes it better. Well, nonetheless, these are Testudo Greca Ibra, and that's what we call in the hobby the Ibra Greek. Okay. Or the Turtles of the World Annotated Checklist calls them the Asia Minor Tortoise. Oh, wow. So, uh, Ibra Greek is what everybody knows them as, so we'll stick to that. But this is the largest subspecies of Greek tortoise. And uh, the mother of these, we actually named her Dev, which means giant in Turkish because she's massive. She's over wow. 10 inches. That's incredible. And these are just beautiful little Damn golf amazing. balls, right? Yeah. That is so beautiful. I like the little black mustache they have. Yeah. Mm. But they'll darken with age. You know, most of the adults, some of them are jet black. Wow. And so you want to give these guys a suck. Yeah. I do this with all my tortoises yeah. immediately, and they'll do the same thing the woods do. Just start sucking down water. Yeah. It's amazing. They just know what to do. But even still, when you have baby tortoises, I do find that they are a little bit unga ungainly. They're a little bit... Um, there, there is a bit of learning that happens as they grow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they wind up flipping over a lot. Da, da, da. And then once they get kind of a, a handle on their bodies, yeah. they tend to, to be a little bit less like you don't have to worry about them so much. So when you make an enclosure for baby tortoises, you want to make it simple and so they can't flip. Yeah, exactly. It, it, starting them off to where, like you said, they can't like basically have an accident. Like one thing you guys out there can do if you are raising baby tortoises, if you have a water dish in there for them, you want to make sure it's shallow. Big time. Terracotta saucer is a great one to use, but um, put some rocks or pebbles in there. So if the tortoise do. does flip over, it has something to pivot off because, you know, you know, drowning in water bowls. Is That's one of the most difficult things that I've found is finding a water dish. No one really manufactures one no. that is shallow enough um, so sometimes when you get those terracotta base pots, mm -hmm. uh, you'll, I'll put the rocks in there yeah. so that it, it actually, uh, you know, decreases the depth. Yeah. So you can do that, then wash it out as you need. Um, but that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Simple, uh, is better. A hiding area, a humid hide, Absolutely. a basking area, and then not much furniture, I don't think is a good thing to do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the other thing too, I think a lot of people don't realize is a lot of people get stuck on the air humidity thing. Uh -huh. It's very hard for people to achieve. You don't have to be that hyper focused on that. Give them a deep substrate that stays moist because baby tortoises, like we were talking about earlier, the box turtles, they hide. So if they can subject themselves to that mi uh, microclimate, then they're gonna be able to stay moist whenever they feel like it, you know, cool. instead of being drenched all the time. Yeah, and then this way you don't get scud or anything yeah. weird like that. Um, what do you want to do? These, this is it for the. That's it for them. Okay. So we can move on to them and now we can get really annoying. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're, getting, we're going deep. We're, we're going Hermans. All right. We're going Hermans, which is, uh, you know, can get a little nuts. But we've got three, three types of Hermans tortoises here. You've got the Eastern, you've got the Western, and then you've got the geographical variant of the Eastern, which used to be a full subspecies, and that's the Dalmatian Hermans, and they are considerably different. But when it comes to the babies, none of this is easy. Oh, boy. So let's go through them. We'll put them into their corresponding uh, containers, 
and then uh, we'll do like a little quiz. Cool. Oh, great. Let's cool. go. <laughs> Let's see how much of a turtle nerd am I? <laughs> okay, so let's do this first. Let me grab one of these. And I will grab, uh, make sure I pick good examples of each one here. Hmm. We'll grab this one and we'll grab this one. Okay. So we've got all three right here. Really? Yes. Okay. We've got Eastern. Okay. Dalmatian and Western. So first thing you don't want to pay attention to is the color. Thank God. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so color's not going to come out until they start growing. Um, and the Western is, of course, going to get that real rich, deep golden yellow, uh, whereas the Dalmatian is going to turn into more of an olive yellow. And the, the Eastern is going to have a straw or okra color. Um, but again, we're dealing with Testudo, so we've got that classic black and yellow all around pretty much, you know. So what's nice about this right here is it's showing the size spectrum and how it's supposed to be. The Eastern's the biggest, the Dalmatian is the middle ground, and the Western is the smallest. Sometimes it comes down to an individuality thing, but let's keep it simple. Okay. First, look at the head. The Eastern's got a really dark head, right? Okay. See that? Mm. No? Very, oh, yeah, yeah, no, very <laughs> yeah. It does have a head. Yeah. It, it has, has a head. head. Yeah. Oh yeah, no headless ones, right? Mm. Now the Dalmatian mm -hmm. has a little bit of a cheek spot, and it's got distinct markings on the top of the head. See that? Uh -huh. See the olive on the top right, of the head right, right. there? Yep. Western has that perfect yellow spot right, right under the, the eye. Okay. And you'll also notice when you look at the forelimbs of all three, you see right. how pale, mm -hmm. see how pale the Western oh, is? Uh, all right. Okay. Now on the carapace, don't really pay attention to much else except the fifth vertebral scoop. Okay. See the keyhole symbol on the Western? Mm -hmm. See it? That's a keyhole symbol. Yeah, and it's going to eventually really get distinct. Okay. So that's your, uh, you want to look at that scoot. You want to make sure you could really see some kind of definition there. Okay, and all these are mixed up? Well, no. No, okay. these, these are, there's a couple, there's a mix in here. Uh -huh, and and then, these, yeah, these. and then this is Dalmatian, that's Eastern. So when we flip them over, and I want to do this quick so we don't stress them out. This is where it's really tricky, okay? Because the Western isn't going to really get those fused black bands until it gets a little bit older. So right now they all really look the same. But one way you could tell a Dalmatian, which is the one here in the middle, is you're going to look right in the thigh because it's missing the inguinal scoots. Oh, wow. Okay, the inguinal yeah. scoot is the little triangle scoot yeah. that you're going to see on these. You have to look closely. Yeah, you see it? Are. See it? It's right there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So the Dalmatian doesn't have that. Dalmatian does not. The other two do. Oh, boy. All, All right. right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I might just use that as ID. Okay, so, well, you can. You can do it any way you want. Oh, okay. So let's... Just don't um, screw it up. Yeah, just don't mess up. Okay. All right, so I'm going first. Go for it. All right. Pick one up. Pick See one if up. you can figure out what it is. All right, my, that, my eyes are bad. Okay, <laughs> we were just talking about how old I am. I'm 49. Can I borrow your glasses? No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. I think... Is there an inguinal scoot there? There looks like there's a... There is. There is. Okay, so... If there is one, it could be either of the other two. Okay, so so now we know it's either an eastern or a western. Bingo. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the head, the head on this little dude. Um, I'm going to go with this is a western. Bingo. All right. <laughs> yes, no England also Dalmatian. Bingo. Wow. So they're, it's almost like you, they're here. It, yeah. They're yeah. There. It's almost like you're, you know, you know how to identify turtles and tortoises. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he might know something. <laughs> almost. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's pretty good. So, so you guys are one and one now. You're, oh, you're, we're one. Yeah. Oh, okay. This just oh, turned so into a like, competition. Oh, it's a contest. Oh, yeah, let's this see. just turned into a competition. <laughs> uh, I'll go next. And I see you. I see you in Eastern. Uh, that will be right here. Yeah. Okay. There. there you go. This has the inguinal. Come on. And this is a Western. Bingo. Wow, that's amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. <laughs> I'll raise you. What I'm going to do here is we're going to speed this process up because I got to eat soon. And um, we're going to go, we're going to grab this Eastern. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold on out. This is a Western. So. Eastern, Western, I uh, forgot which bin. Do no, not West. ask out. Yeah. Do not wait, go wait. $200. Western? Uh, Western. Western, Western. Eastern. Eastern. All right, awesome. All right, let's see. Let's see. Come on, snake eyes. Come on. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that 
it looks like a classic Eastern bingo. Uh, the classic. Let's see. No, hang on all that. Or no, wait. No. It's there. It, it, yeah, it's, so this is... Uh, Wait, the, uh, this is the Western. Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you guys are still even. All right, all right. All right let's okay. see. Two at a time. Two at a time. time. Two at a time. Let's just make sure. Oh, look. Look, oh. we happen to have two hiding underneath the uh, paper towel. I'm going to go with these guys, and I'm going to give it a look. All right. I oh, see this is so tough, but I do believe there's the scoot. That, that there is a it's scooting. And uh, the head, that's going to be a Western. Okay. Um, Oh, Ooh. <laughs> I can make a very faint line on the, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the scoot there. And if I screw this up, it's because my eyes have failed me, but I'm going with scoot. I think I went, I went Western, 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 Western. Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay. Right, go let's, here. let's get this bin done. Yeah. Um, Whenever you're hanging out with dudes, everything yeah. becomes a contest. Yeah. All right. It's horrible. Yep. Casey, don't. It's in a terrible. My eyes are bad too. <laughs> Testosterone. I'm but the I biggest competitor of all. Is. Oh, really? She is. Awesome. I think this is a Dalmatian. I don't see. Really? No. Oh, oh he wins. <laughs> you should oh, have me one. try an idea. This is a Western. Uh, Western, Western. Western, Western. Okay. Yeah. You know, Maurice, it's so okay. So let's do this, though. Let's do this. Okay, is well, there one left? No, oh, there's, there's two left. left. Okay. All right. Well, then you each get one. We each get one? Yeah. For the win. For, for the win, see? Okay. All right, there's an inguinal, and uh, that, oh, but this head, it's not as dark uh, as an Eastern. From what, from my experience, mm -hmm. which is literally last five minutes, um, <laughs> I'm going with Western. Very good. Yeah, okay, cool. Is there, is there one more, or is there somebody under there? There's yeah, one more, so okay. that's Maurice. It's all you, Maurice. All righty. Oh, it has the skit, so Western. Okay, yeah, there right. you go. So Kenan wins by one. Yeah. yeah, you know what though? It's <laughs> it's really not about winning or losing. It's really about the animal. It's really about sorting them properly. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So that you guys can call up and speak to him or email you for one of these amazing animals. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So that is all we're going to do for today. We've got a lot of other fun we're going to have together today, but we've also got a lot more babies that are going to be hatching throughout the season. So make sure you stick around. Make sure. If you're not already, because if you aren't, you should be, you are subscribed to Ken's channel Thank you. and all his other platforms. And make sure you're checking out the work that the Turtle Conservancy is doing, which is monumental in the Colonian world. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I knew what you were doing. Yeah, I did it. Because oh, like, was... we were just talking about about else. You know? Yeah, ah, cool. <laughs> yeah, roll them. So, yeah, box turtles. Are you rolling? Are you yeah. Rolling? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the name.